During breakfast, the boy stumbled upon something terrifying. It seemed like his stepmother had poisoned the rice she served him. When he took a spoonful and sniffed it, he detected a strong, pungent odor. Could there really be something wrong with it? To avoid tipping her off, the boy didn't say anything to his stepmother. Instead, he quietly emptied the rice into his pencil case. Later, pretending to be full, he went to the kitchen, handed over his empty bowl to his stepmother, and even praised how delicious the rice was today. But just as Danny was about to leave, his stepmother suddenly called him back. It turned out that water was leaking from the bottom of his backpack. Worried that the secret about the rice would be discovered, Danny hastily explained that it might have been spilled by his water bottle. Then, looking nervous, he quickly left home. His stepmother didn't think much of it at first. However, as she crouched down to clean the floor, she was surprised to find that what was dripping wasn't water but rice broth. In that moment, she understood everything. After leaving home, Danny didn't immediately head to school. Instead, he secretly met up with his girlfriend, hoping she could take the rice to a nearby hospital for testing. He suspected his stepmother had tampered with it, and going himself might leave a trail. So, for now, his girlfriend seemed like the safest option. But his girlfriend didn't believe for a second that Danny's stepmother would poison him. She had no reason to harm him. As they argued, Danny's girlfriend accidentally knocked the stationary box out of his hands, spilling the rice all over the floor. Danny scolded her loudly, insisting she shouldn't doubt him, and vowed to find evidence that his stepmother was framing him. Come evening, the family gathered around to enjoy a delicious steak dinner. While his father praised the stepmother's cooking skills, Danny sat there unmoved. When his father asked why he wasn't eating the steak, Danny glanced at his stepmother and explained that there was too much fat on the steak in his plate, making it unappetizing for him. He suggested swapping with his father. Without much thought, his father handed his plate of steak over to Danny. Just as his father was about to take action, the stepmother suddenly raised her voice to stop him. She nervously explained that eating leftover steak might lead to bacterial contamination, so for safety's sake, she suggested they swap back. This move by the stepmother only heightened Danny's suspicion about the steak on his plate. He got up and went to the kitchen, grabbing a plastic bag to pack the steak. Perplexed, his father asked Danny what he was doing. Danny explained that he was gathering evidence against his stepmother because he suspected the steak had been poisoned. His father dismissed Danny's claims, convinced that Danny must be suffering from paranoid delusions. They had no reason to harm each other. As his father stepped forward to intervene, he was pushed away with a single palm, and then Danny grabbed a fruit knife from the table, threatening everyone to stay away from him. Seeing this, the stepmother quickly dialed the emergency number. With the situation at a standstill, his father urged Danny not to act rashly, insisting there must be some misunderstanding between them. But the stepmother, on the phone, exaggerated the situation, urging the police to hurry. With no other options, Danny grabbed the steak and rushed upstairs. He was determined to find evidence of his stepmother's plot against him. In his father's room, Danny locked the door and then searched through the closet for evidence. Outside, the stepmother, fearing her secret would be uncovered, urged his father to break down the door. Seeing this, Danny grabbed the fruit knife, threatening his father not to come any closer. He insisted he'd find evidence of his stepmother's poisoning. Meanwhile, the police were on their way. His father pleaded with Danny to put down the weapon and talk calmly. If there was truly poison in the stake, the police would surely investigate. His father's words calmed Danny down, but just then, the stepmother appeared from outside. Losing control, Danny lunged at her abdomen with the weapon. As they both fell to the ground, the police arrived and subdued Danny. Danny's suspicions about his stepmother's intentions trace back to a month ago. Back then, he was a lively and cheerful child. His mother was diagnosed with a terminal illness, with less than a year to live. So, his father spared no expense in hiring a caregiver to look after his ailing wife. This caregiver turned out to be Allison, Danny's future stepmother. They hoped that under the care of a professional caregiver, Danny's mother would live a little longer. However, ever since Allison came into the house, Danny's mother's condition inexplicably worsened, and shortly afterward, she passed away. At the funeral, while everyone mourned the loss of his mother, Allison couldn't help but smile. This scene didn't escape Danny's notice, fueling his suspicion that his mother's death might be related to this woman. The next day, while walking the dog near the house, Danny inadvertently stumbled upon his father and Allison secretly meeting in the car, further solidifying his suspicions. That evening, when he returned home, his father gathered Danny and his younger brother together to discuss Allison. He explained the situation, hoping the children would understand. 
His brother expressed no objection, saying he didn't mind as long as their father was happy. But Danny believed his father shouldn't rush into a new relationship so soon. He couldn't accept this reality and ended up having a heated argument with his father. Despite their disagreement, his father ultimately brought Allison back home. It was hard for Danny to swallow the fact that within a week, Allison transitioned from being a caregiver to his stepmother. That evening, Danny unintentionally witnessed Allison applying skincare products, and suddenly everything clicked into place. He understood why his father had fallen for her so quickly within just a few days. The next day, Danny confided in his girlfriend about what he had observed regarding his stepmother. He believed his father shouldn't have betrayed his mother so soon, but his girlfriend argued that even if his father was in the wrong, there was no need to dwell on it. After all, everyone has their own life, and he should try to accept Allison instead of ostracizing her. Her words made Danny feel like there might be some truth to them. That night, when he returned home, he began to come to terms with the situation and engaged in casual conversation with his stepmother. Under Danny and his brother's curiosity, Allison opened up about her past. When she was very young, her mother callously abandoned her and her father and disappeared. The poor father and daughter relied on each other, hoping that things would eventually get better. However, when she was 17, her father tragically passed away due to an accident. With no family left, she left her hometown and moved to the big city to work. It wasn't until recently that she met Danny's father. After hearing Allison's story, Danny felt a twinge of compassion in his heart. It seemed like he had misjudged Allison these past few days. Just then, there was a bark from outside. Danny explained that it was time to walk the dog, and he would be right back. But Allison kindly offered to take care of it, saying it was a good chance for her to bond with the dog. Danny didn't think much of it, and let Allison take the dog out. Shortly after, when his father came home from work and found Allison missing from the kitchen, he asked Danny where she went. Danny explained that she went out to walk the dog and even praised tonight's dinner as especially delicious. But before he could finish speaking, Danny suddenly felt a sharp pain in his stomach. He thought he might have eaten something bad but assured his father not to worry. Immediately, there was a cry for help from outside. When Danny and the others rushed to the scene, all they saw was the tragic death of the dog. Allison explained that while crossing the road, the dog suddenly broke free from the leash and collided with a car. She tried her best to save it, but it was too late. Danny believed that this was all a staged act by Allison. The dog was his mother's favorite pet, and he suspected Allison wanted to erase all traces of his mother and assert herself as the sole owner of the house. Just then, Danny was hit by another wave of intense pain in his stomach. Allison stood expressionless, as if everything was going according to her plan. The father took Danny to the hospital for an examination, but no abnormalities were found. Danny was convinced that this incident was definitely related to his stepmother. He believed she had put a slow-acting poison in the rice, intending to kill anyone who opposed her. However, the father thought Danny was suffering from paranoid delusions. In their argument, the father revealed that mental illness ran in the family on his mother's side. It turned out that his uncle had a certain type of mental disorder and tragically took his own life by jumping into a river. Considering Danny's recent behavior, the father couldn't help but suspect that his son had also inherited the family's mental illness. The moment, it seemed to manifest as a form of paranoid delusion. Returning home that night, Danny searched online for news about his uncle's suicide by jumping into the river, confirming the truth of his father's words. However, this didn't completely eliminate Danny's suspicion of his stepmother. The next day, Allison pretended to be caring, bringing breakfast to his bedroom. This led to the scene at the beginning, where Danny detected a strong odor in the rice. That night, in a fit of emotional turmoil, he accidentally injured Allison with a knife. He was subsequently arrested by the police on charges of assault. A week later, Danny's father hired the most renowned local lawyer to defend Danny. Because of his family's history of mental illness, this became a legal loophole to evade punishment. The lawyer advised Danny to voluntarily admit to having a mental illness, which would allow her to bail him out of jail. However, Danny was reluctant to do so because admitting to a mental illness would overturn all the evidence of his stepmother's previous framing. Just then, his younger brother walked in. He urged Danny to cooperate with the lawyer and admit to having a mental illness, as it would secure his release from jail. Otherwise, if his stepmother appealed, Danny could face decades behind bars. Ultimately, Danny had to accept reality and admit it in court to having a mental illness. Watching his stepmother's smug expression, Danny felt a bitter taste in his mouth. After the judge announced the verdict, Danny was sent to a psychiatric hospital, where he remained for two long years. Then, one day, his stepmother unexpectedly sought him out. 
Shockingly, she admitted to poisoning his food with slow-acting poison. But even with this confession, no one would believe him. Danny demanded to see his brother, but his stepmother explained they would likely never meet again. It turned out that shortly after Danny was institutionalized, his father fell ill and passed away, leaving his brother as the sole inheritor. So, his stepmother had to imprison his brother. Danny, consumed by anger, couldn't suppress his rage any longer and lunged at Allison. He was swiftly subdued by hospital staff, who saw him as just another mentally ill patient. Injected with sedatives, Danny slipped into unconsciousness under Allison's gaze. Their family fell victim to the schemes of a wicked woman. And that's where the story ends.